So let's talk through the steps um, that we will follow today. Um, it's a revision session. So we did this um, in the spring term, I think, at the end of spring term. We looked at counting out, counting up. Um, as a method to solve subtraction problems um, and we did that for large subtraction I think like large numbers when we did it last and now we're going to apply it to numbers with decimals um, it's just a, a different strategy to using the column method and I think what it does is it helps you with your um, mental calculations because once you get into the habit of making these small jumps and breaking it up you should be able to do that mentally and add those together. Um, so this is the method I want you to try and use today when working out the answers. So we've been given 2.46 and 2, sorry, not 2, we've been given 23.46 and 23.64. And we're going to count up from the subtrahend to the minuend. So we're going to count up from the number that we're subtracting to the number that we're subtracting from use this frog method, um, it's called the frog method because it hops um, to find the difference between the two numbers. So your first hop is to the next tenth. So we're looking at 23.46, we're just thinking about the next tenth. So the tenth in that number is four, there's four in the tenth spot. So if you struggle with this, you might need to get your place value grid out again to remind yourself. Um, and the next tenth would be five. So in order to get that four tenths to five tenths, we need to look at the hundredths, the hundredths column, and we're gonna look at what we'd add to that number um, to get to the next tenth. This is really nice and easy. It's really quick because it's just your number bonds to 10. So I know that four and six is 10. So if I add 0 0.04 to 23.46, I will then get to my next tenth, which is 23.5. That's your first frog hop. And then you need to do a second frog hop. So this could be to the next tenth if you're nice and close, or if you're looking at a number where the number's in front of the decimal, the whole number in front of the decimal, so it could be 22 and 30, you may want to do that jump there. But this one, because we're looking at 23. 46 and 23.64 we're working within the same tens and ones so we're just focusing on those jumps that are happening in the tenths and the hundredths column so we've jumped to the next tenth so we're now at 23.5 but i want to get to 23.6 so i'm just going to add another 0.1 so one tenth to make that jump and you can see here that's a bigger jump than the one we've just done because one tenth is bigger than four hundredths and then finally, we add on the hundredths that we need to take this to 23.64, because at the moment we're at 23.6, and that's another 0 0.04, so that's four hundredths. Now, the final step is to just add those hops together. You're adding 0 0.04 with 0 0.1, so that's 0 0.14. And then you're adding another 0 0.04 to that, so it's 0 0.18. Let's try one more. So now we're looking at the difference between 23.32 and 19.67. So again, we're going to have the subtrahend on the left, and we're going to hop up to the minuend to find the difference. So your first hop is to the next tenth, we're adding three hundredths to seven hundredths to get us to the next tenth. So we go from 19.67 to 19.7. And then we make our next hop. And this is what I was talking about in the last example. Because we're now um, going from 19 to 23, we're going to focus on making that jump to our whole to, that will affect our whole number. So if I add 0 0.3 to 19.7, that gets me to 20, nice and simple. So my next jump is, I'm adding some more tenths, but I'm trying to get to just a whole number there with no decimals. 
and then it's nice and easy then for me to go right from 20 to get to 23.32 I just need to add 3.32 then final step add those jumps together so you've got 0 0.3 at uh, 0 0.03 add to 0 0.3 and that is 0 0.33 and then you're adding 3.32 to that. So that's 3.65. Good luck with today's work and I hope you enjoy this method.